Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we're going to be going over my top five tips and tricks to be able to progress a little bit quicker in Animal Crossing New Horizons and have your introductory experience just a little bit better. So I'm going to be going over some of these tips and tricks that are really going to help you out. And I do hope you all enjoy this video. If you do and or find it useful, make sure to hit that like button and show the video some love. And um, there's going to be some really great tips in here. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, there's a few things that I want to go over before I get into some of the more uh, better tips and tricks. But first and foremost, a lot of you are going to be wanting to know how to get miles and money very quickly. And I'm going to show you the best way to make miles and money very quickly at the beginning of the game so you can pay off your loan and build your first house. For those of you that don't know, you need to pay off that 5,000 miles loan that Tom Nook gives you to be able to transition your tent into a house. Now, also during this process, you're going to unlock uh, the Museum Curator, which is also going to take 24 hours to actually create. But we do have a trick for that as well. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect all the fruits and all of the weeds on your island. As you can see, my island is perfectly clean right now. And this is called like island beautification. And when you do this, you're going to make tons of miles and tons of money. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you real quick what's going to happen. I think I've actually got enough weeds in my pocket to be able to unlock the next tier of rewards. So if you go into your phone here, you're going to see we've got the Nook Miles. And there's one specific thing that's very easy to make a ton of money. We've got the Greedy Weeder here. Um, now this is going to get you really quickly 50 weeds and 200 weeds. That takes like a couple minutes to get. And it's going to net you almost a thousand uh, miles right off the bat. And then as you progress, you're going to be able to get more and more of these rewards. And each tier gives you more miles, which is really, really easy to do. And then we've also got uh, Pick the Bunch. So you can sell fruits on your island. And then uh, Fruit Roots, I believe, is really uh, easy as well. So basically what you want to do is you want to pick all of the weeds and all of the fruits on your island and then sell them here to Tommy. And when you do this, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to get a ton of miles when you unlock the achievements. And these miles will get you to very, very quickly be able to pay off that loan and be able to build your house, which is going to help you progress a much, much quicker in the game. So let's go ahead and sell these here and see how much money we get for this. And we might even get one of the Nook Miles rewards, which I've already done most of the early ones. We got 5,870 bells just for selling the fruit and those weeds, which is a ton of money. And we're already progressing towards paying off the loan on our house so we can add the expansion onto it. So you're really killing two birds with one stone with this. You're going to be able to pay off your tent loan with the miles and you're going to get a ton of money to be able to pay off your house loan to be able to expand your house and make it bigger. Okay, so there we go. I actually unlocked a new Nook Miles thing. So we got not only the Nook Miles, we got Nook Miles Plus. Uh, so we got 5,000 miles. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we're going to go back and see if we've got anything else unlocked here. And basically, you just want to make sure you're tracking all of these and claiming them as quick as possible. But the weeds and the fruit is really going to get you a lot of miles very quickly. Now, next up on the list, a lot of people are really confused at how to progress because the game doesn't really tell you. What you need to do here is you need to talk to Tom Nook. And when you initially start talking to Tom Nook before you unlock the museum curator, there's going to be an option here that says, I found a creature. Right now, I don't have that option because I've already donated enough to Tom Nook. But basically, every time you give Tom Nook a creature, he's going to give you new blueprints for the... Let's see if we can open up our thing here. So every time you donate a new creature to Tom Nook, say like if I donated this Orchard Mantis, he's going to give you a new item or a new blueprint. Uh, one of the first blueprints that he's going to give you is like this, uh, the flimsy axe here and stuff like that. But once you donate uh, five different types of creatures, whether it be fish, uh, bugs, or what have you, he's going to end up calling the museum curator, and then he's going to give you a tent to place that museum. And that's really where you start progressing. Now, it's going to take 24 hours for that museum curator to actually appear in town. And that brings us to tip number three. So tip number two is make sure you donate five different creatures to Tom Nook to really progress and get the blueprints. A lot of people have been asking me about that. I guess that's really tip 1.5. 
But now tip two is how to speed up time. Because once you do that, there's really going to be nothing left for you to do. Because the game kind of stops until you start progressing the uh, the museum, which is how you get this pole here to be able to jump over different parts of your island and be able to explore more of your island. You're going to unlock the shovel from the museum creator as well, which is going to allow you to dig up things like these fossils here. So you really need to unlock the museum creator curator to unlock really the next part of the game. And that takes 24 hours and nobody really wants to wait 24 hours to enjoy this wonderful game. So what you need to do is once you've kind of gotten all the things that you want, so I highly recommend like uh, sh making sure you shake all of your trees and pick all of the weeds. Because once we skip time, all of this is going to regrow, which is going to allow you to then get more miles and more uh, more money. And then you'll be able to pay off all of your loans because Tom Nook is going to make you get loans all the time. So just spend some time and collect all the things that you can on your island at that time. And then you're going to go ahead and save and exit the game. All right. So once you have saved and closed Animal Crossing, all we're going to do is just go into your system settings. We're going to go all the way down to system. And we don't really, you don't mess with this too much. Uh, just go ahead and push it forward a day. And you don't even need to like mess anything with the, the time or anything. Just push it forward one day. And it's going to make your game go forward 24 hours. So when you launch the game, you'll have a new news alert from Tom Nook. And all the things that you were waiting for to build will now be built. That take 24 hours. And you'll be able to progress a little bit faster in the game. I highly recommend only using this for like the early part of the game. So you don't really ruin the experience for yourself. But it will help you be able to not have that stagnation right at the beginning of the game when you're trying to get into it. All right, here we go. So not only did that help grow our trees, but it's going to progress things that are otherwise out here as well. So all the trees that you plant will grow during this time. And now we have unlocked the museum. And this will help build your house and really anything that takes time in the game to do. It's going to be 24 hours. And usually Tom Nook will tell you. So here is the museum that we finally have built. And there's going to be different exhibit areas and all the things that you donate to the museum will be in here too. Now this is also how you unlock things like the um, the vaulting pole and the shovel, but you'll unlock that all before you actually have to build the museum. Uh, but it's really cool. So we can fill this up with all sorts of different things. We can put fish in here. We can put all of our bugs and stuff like that. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's tip number three. Speeding up time, but just don't abuse it too much because you might end up ruining your experience by plowing through the content too quickly. But you can't actually access new seasons doing this, so don't try and access new seasons. Uh, that is going to be dependent on the actual continent that you're on. So you can skip days, but you can't skip into different seasons to be able to collect the animals you haven't collected. So don't try and abuse it for that because it just won't work. Now, tip number four is going to be the money tree. During your adventures in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you might happen upon a glowing gold like dot on the ground. You're going to need a shovel to actually be able to pick this up. And as I already mentioned, you can unlock the shovel through the museum building process. And all you need to do is dig up that golden area. And you're going to get a bag of a thousand bells. Now, if you don't happen to have a bag of thousand bells or you don't get one, all you need to do is actually open your inventory and you can click on the bells icon here and you can create a bag of a thousand bells, 10,000 bells and 18,000 bells if you happen to have that much. So after you dig that particular spot, all you need to do is plant that bag of bells into that glowing golden hole and then cover it up and you're going to start growing a money tree just like this one. Now, once this tree is fully grown, we're going to be able to shake this tree to be able to make tons and tons of bells. That is a very, very nice trick to have, and I highly recommend taking advantage of it. Every single island should have at least one spot with this glowing area on it. So definitely make sure to plant a thousand bells in there and start growing your money tree to make very easy money. Now for tip number five. This is going to go over some of the best purchases that you can get right off the bat at the beginning of the game to really help uh, progression through Animal Crossing New Horizons. So once you pay off your house, which is the, definitely the first thing you want to do with your Nook Miles, you're going to get access to Nook Miles Plus and then redeeming your Nook Miles here at this for special items and bonuses. So that's what we're going to do right now. 
So what I highly recommend doing is after you get 5,000 uh, miles, pay off your tent so you can build your house. And then you're going to want to save up another 5,000 miles and you want to buy the pocket organization guide. This is going to give you a whole extra row of inventory, which is incredibly important because inventory management is huge in this game. And you're going to be able to collect more things when you go on vacation destinations and visit friends and stuff like that. Uh, having that inventory room is essential. The next thing you're going to want to purchase is the pretty good tools recipe. This is going to get you much better tools that aren't going to break all the time, which is going to save you time and money. So we're going to go ahead and purchase the pocket organization guide right now. But there's also one more item in here that you really need to purchase. Uh, that's going to make your life significantly easier in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have already purchased it, uh, but it's going to be an item called the Tool Ring. This is basically a tool belt, which is going to allow you to quickly access all of the tools in your inventory. And it's very, very good. I'll show you how it works here in just a second. So now that we've got that pocket organization, we can see the here that we have a ton more inventory to be able to collect all the things in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But once you buy the tool ring, which is for 800 miles, which is a very easy first purchase, you can hold up on the D-pad and you have a quick access menu to all of the things in your inventory. Very, very easy. It's so much better than opening your inventory and then selecting the item you want to equip, especially when you see like a bug or something real quick that you want to try and catch. Just hit up on the D-pad go to your net, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, you're good to go. So those are my top five tips um, for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'll have more tips videos as I progress through the game, and we're going to have a new shop built here soon as well, um, because we're about to unlock uh, the shop upgrade, which is going to allow us new items and things to be able to get in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And we just need iron currently. We all The only thing left that we need is iron. I don't know why I'm digging so many holes around this particular stump here. We can quickly get eight different items from this particular rock by doing this. And we didn't get any iron, which is what we need. So unfortunately, we didn't get any iron. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and hopefully it'll help them out as well. I hope you all enjoy Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.